I'm doing this video to make people aware of a smartwatch scam that's going about, which I unfortunately got sucked into. And do I regret it ever? If you go onto Google and put best smartwatch 2024, you'll come to, you might come to this site. It's a sponsored link. And you've got all this blurb about David James, uh, Jones is an instrument engineer and his passion about using all kinds of electronics. Notice the grammar. He is an expert in this field. Poor pump, um, there's no capitals and no space. So the grammar is very, very poor. You read what it says here with the development of society smartwatch as a new type of world as many functions that traditional watches do not have in addition to being a choice of accessories it can meet people's need for health convenience and diversification now this used to link to a site called look so smart which is here but for some reason they put up another domain now whether that's because people are catching on I don't know but here is their um, original site that I bought the watch off supposedly it cost 199 pounds well it never has and it never will So you're supposed to be saving over 45%, you're not. And the £109 price tag is overinflated. And I'll show you why in a minute. But there is more to this than meets the eye. If you look at the reviews, there's no recent ones. And you've got this one from the 23rd, uh, 16th of the 8th, so that's 16th of August 2023. And then this one here from the 27th of the 7th, 2023. 23rd of the 7th, 2023. All the rest of them are five star reviews all from the same time there's hardly any images and they're not staggered if you look on Amazon's site when people do read the staggered the, the dates that they're, they're not sort of all like this loads of five star reviews look there's no images there's loads of them all from the same time period it is All from the same time period. Which coincidentally is not correct because I've actually looked and the domain wasn't registered at this particular time. So these reviews couldn't have existed. Now just take a note of the reviews and the images. Right, let's go back to the front page. Here we are. This one in particular here. Okay. Note that image. Right now, if you go on to their latest site, find it in a minute. And it loads up. There we are. See that? Let's get rid of that. This image here is the same as that one there, and this one here 
is the same, except it's written in French by the looks of it. And then this image here, I believe, is the same image off here. So they're using the same images off Look So Smart site, their old site, and putting them on here. And you put different reviews on. So that's wrong in itself. It's misleading people. I don't know if there's any other. Let's have a look, see with images. That one there, I think. So we'll look. Yeah, look. Let's see. Same image there. This is 1602. There's like a, I don't know what that is, something in the background looks like a bed or something. It's the same image. But if you look here, same watch. Admittedly, you have to buy a thousand to two thousand nine pieces, but I mean that's probably the lowest price if you want to buy one. I would have thought eleven US dollars, which is nine pound fifty six. That's how much they're paying for them. Nine pound fifty six, ten pounds. So they're making roughly ninety nine pounds. Or thereabouts to cost hundred and nine. They're making ninety nine pounds per watch profit, roughly. So they are. This is the look so smart Nebula Tech smartwatch scam. And be warned if you buy this watch and you get a problem or you want to send it back. They're based in China, and all they will do is fob you off and fob you off and fob you off. The only way to get your money back, as far as I can see, and I went down this road, but like a fool, I cancelled the dispute, is to um, open a dispute if you bought it using a debit card. Open a dispute. And then even then they'll try and offer you 50% or another watch. Or what they start doing from the very beginning is we'll give you 5%, 10%, 15%. And they just keep trying. They just, they just use distraction techniques. They just put you off. They just don't want to give you money. They're just scammers. That's all it is. So... Whatever you do, it's up to you if you want to buy the watch. But from my experience of it, it's been nothing but a prob pain. And it's not worth the money. It doesn't track steps accurately. It doesn't measure your sleep accurately. As it tracks too many steps. I mean, when I've been wearing mine, just walking around in the house, I can notch up to 2,000 steps. Well, I... That's just, just that's no way that's possible. It even tracks steps when you're asleep. It's just rubbish. But buy it, you know, if, if you want to buy the watch, that's fine. But, you know, I wish I'd never bought mine. That's all there is to say. Thanks for watching.